Hello, baseball fans. We're back. We are back and we are doing game six here of the 2005 NLCS. We are replaying it with Stratomatic Basic Baseball. And we're going to see who actually wins this version in real life. If you will recall, the 2005 Astros actually won the series. And if you know that we're in game six right now, you know that one of these teams is up three games to two. However, which one of those teams it is, you will have to find out by going back and looking through all the videos and watching them, especially. So here's the lineup for the, Ast the visiting Astros. We're back in St. Louis. Willie Tavares will lead off and play center field. Craig Biggio will be the second baseman, batting second. Lance Berkman is at first base. Morgan er Ensberg at third. Jason Lane in right. Orlando Palmero in left. Brad Osmus at catcher. Adam Everett at short. And Andy Pettit will be pitching today for the Astros. And there he is in the pitcher's box. For St. Louis, moving on to St. Louis, you got Reggie Sanders, he's back. He's playing left field today for the Cardinals uh, because his replacement last game was a disaster. Larry Walker in right field. Albert Pujols, the machine at first base. Edmonds in center. Scott DeRoland at third base. Yadier Molina is catching today. Hector Luna at second. David Eckstein at third, and Mark Mulder will be doing the pitching, and there he is in the pitcher's box. So, with all of that having been said, we're going to get on with the game. And the first batter, as we said earlier, will be Willie Tavares. And he gets a 4-9 and that will be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for St. Louis is Eckstein, and he is a three, and that is a four. That might not be good at all, but it is. It's an out. It is an out, so he goes six to three, and there's one down. That brings up Craig Biggio, and how do you guys like my new discs for these games to mark the base runners? A little better than those, uh, you know, just in the generic um, game tokens. You got Fred Biggio, and he gets 3-5. That's a single. That's going to be a base hit for Craig Biggio. So he is aboard, and you can see those. They're right there. I mean, there's no mistaking, and that is going to be a hit allowed by Mulder, by Agent Mulder. And uh, that brings up Lance Berkman. Part of the killer B. And he gets a 1-8, and that's a single. So you got a second hit, and you got two runners on, and we're not going to try to extend anybody. It's early in the game. They don't want to get anybody thrown out that could have led to a bigger inning. And uh, that brings up Morgan Ensberg, who had 36 home runs that year, and he gets a 5-7 on Mulder's card, and that is a base hit. And let's see, maybe now, with a potential run-scoring hit, they will see if they can try to score Biggio. He is a running 1-12, to though, so that's not going to happen. And they have, uh, they're playing station-to-station station for the moment. One out, bases loaded, Jason Lane, who had 26 home runs. In 2005, he gets a 6-4. That is a fly ball B, but that will score a run. And so Jason Lane gets a, um, a sack, sack fly, and uh, Biggio uh, scores. And that is an earned run. On Mr. Mulder. Which brings up Orlando Palmero. And he gets a 3-7. And that is going to be a double one or a single. And it is a single double asterisk. And it scores a run. So you got another, another base hit. 
another um oh you don't have a run necessarily let's see boss misses up and six eight is going to be a double a double it is just going to be a double my my friends and another run scores probably with a runner stopping at um third base berkman is the runner that scores so that so they do have three runs and they're not gonna they're not gonna press the issue that's another hit and it is another another two runs that i have to record and that brings up adam everett and everett gets a 211 which is the ground ball b and he is out that ground ball was to second base so that was four to three and there are um and that is the uh, inning for houston but they score three runs in the top of the first inning reggie sanders is up he gets a three three which is a ground ball to short one away That brings up Larry Walker, Larry Walker. He gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a single. So Larry Walker is aboard with a hit. And that's a hit allowed by Pettit. Brings us to the, the Albert Pujols. The machine is up. The machine had 41 home runs in 2005 and Pettit by the way was 17 and 9 with a 239 earned run out. and he gets a 1-9 which is a ground ball third base A that is going to be a 5-4-3 uh, double play and they're out of the inning and no runs come across and we go to the top of the second St. Louis losing this game by the score of 3-0 and that brings the pitcher up, Andy Pettit. He gets a 5-9. That is a fly ball to right. One away. Up steps Willie Tavares. Willie Tavares gets a 3-10. That is a ground ball shortstop. Two away. He's uh, gone 6-3 in two at-bats, both in both at-bats, and Craig Biggio is up. And he gets the 3-8, which is a home run. Craig Biggio puts another run on the board for the Astros. And that is another hit allowed and another earned run, and it is 4-0 Astros. In the second with Lance Berkman up to two down. And he gets a 3-9. That's a walk. So the Astros are all over Mulder. There's going to have to be something done about that. And Mulder, by the way, in 2005 was 16-8 uh, and eight with a 364 earned run average. Morgan Ensberg is the batter. And he gets a 6-4. And that is a fly ball to center field. And Jim Edmonds will step up and be the batter for St. Louis in their half of the second against Pettit. He gets a 4-9, and that is going to be a uh, double. We're going to call that a double. And uh, let's see, Edmonds with the double. Hit allowed for another hit allowed for Pettit. Scotty Rowland is up. He gets a 5 6, which is a fly ball to center. One out. Molina. Yadier Molina is the hitter for St. Louis. Saint, take me back to St. Louis. Today. And that is a 5-9. That is going to be a strikeout. That's the first strikeout for either pitcher. And brings up Hector Luna, who is playing for the injured Drew Zalonic, who got injured 
early in this series and that is going to be a strikeout for the Luna Man and uh, it is another strikeout for Pettit and no runs come across for the Astros and we go to the uh, or for St. Louis and we go to the top of the third with the Randy Flores in 2005 was 3 and 1 with a 346 earned run average. And he's going to face Jason Lane here in the top of the 3rd inning. And that is a 17 and that's going to be a strikeout. So that's the first strikeout by a St. Louis pitcher. And it's by Jason Lane. Or not Jason, it's of Jason Lane by Flores. And Orlando Palmero steps up with one down. And he gets a 4 9, which is going to be a double. No, it's, it's, a, it's a single. Yeah, that's a single. And did we have a, do we have a guy on? We don't. So. So Palmero with a hit. That's the first hit off of Flores. Brad Osmus up. One on, one out. And that is a 4 8. And that is going to be a single. So they're all over Flores, too. The, the St. Louis pitching just cannot manage to keep things in order here. And get the uh, and get the Astros a zero um, inning. Adam Everett up with one out, two on. He gets a one seven, which is a fly ball to left. And with two out and two runners on, the pitcher is up, and that is Andy Pettit. And that is a three ten, and that's going to be a ground ball to third base, and he is out five to three. And St. Louis, or the Houston does get held to their first zero inning, but only barely. The St. Louis pitching has not been its usual good self today. We go to the bottom of the third inning with St. Louis needing to get some runs very quickly. They're down four with Eckstein at the plate. Pettit pitching quite well. That is a single, though. So Eckstein leads off with a hit. That brings up uh, Flores, who is a pitcher four. And you know what? They're going to let him get a couple more innings at least. And they are going to also let him bat with his pitcher four batting card. So we're going to write Flores in. There is no out. Runner at first. And he gets a 2-5, which is a ground ball second base double play. So that didn't work well at all. Two down. And Reggie Sanders up. Probably should have pinch hit there and gone to another pitcher, but hey. Um... 1-5, that is a strikeout. Given the way that the rest of the inning went, it would not appear that it would have helped or, you know, hurt. So we get no runs for the, um, for the uh, Cardinals, and we go to the top of the fourth inning. Top of the fourth with Houston up. Willie Tavares batting against Flores again. He gets a 4-7. That is going to be a walk. Tavares walks. And really, the, the uh, bullpen for the um, for both teams, really, is kind of well-rested. So, 
could have pinch hit there, but again, I don't think that would have changed anything. Uh, Biggio is at the plate, and he gets a 3-8, and that is a home run, second gone home run for Biggio. And they, they bring in two more runs. And really, unless St. Louis scores some runs, the, uh, aside from having the pitcher bat, they are going to be in a lot of trouble. So two more runs come across, and it is 6 nothing. And Lance Berkman is up. And that is a 6-6, which is a walk. They are just all over all of these pitchers. It's crazy. And we're going to have some action in the St. Louis bullpen. And uh, Julian Tavares is going to get up in the St. Louis pen. Morgan Ensberg at the plate. That is a 2-5. That's a walk. Flores walks his third guy already, only in the second inning. They thought when he got out of, the fir out of his first inning of pitching, maybe he could settle down, but no. Jason Lane up, 3-7. That is a pop-out to third. That's the first out of the inning. And hold on, that was Jason Lane. What happened to Ensberg? Oh, Ensberg walked right. And um, Jason Lane just popped out to third. And that brings up Orlando Palmero with one down, two on. He gets a 6-11. 6-11 on Flores is the ground ball to first. That is Pujols, and he is a 2, and that is a 15. 15 and 2 is an out double play. So Palmero bounces out into a double play, a 3-6. Um, I don't know, 3-6-1, I don't know what we're going to call it. 3-6, um, I don't know. Anyway, it's a double play, and it does end the inning. <clears throat> For the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, that is a 6-6, six, six, and that's a strikeout. So Walker with a K, and another K for Pettit, who is just really on cruise control. Well, the St. Louis pitching has just kind of corroded. Albert Pujols is up 3-9. That's a walk. So they get a guy aboard. And we're in the fourth, so... That's a walk, and the walk uh, on Pettit's record. Jim Edmonds is up. Jim Edmonds gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout right between two big hits. And uh, that is a fourth strikeout for Pettit today here in the fourth. And Scott Rowland is up. And he gets a 4-3, and that's ground ball first base. So he is out. And Brad Osmus is up, and Flores is out of the game. He only goes two. And they will bring in Julian Tavares. Uh, Julian Tavares is the new pitcher that gets to greet this uh, Houston machine. And Brad Osmus, the first batter he'll face. He has kind of a uh, soft lineup to, fa to face here as he will face the 7-8 um, and 9 hitters. And that is a 3-8, which is a ground ball third base. So Osmus bounces out 5-3 uh, to three in the fifth to lead off the fifth inning. 
Adam Everett up. Adam Everett gets a 412. That is a fly ball to right. That's two down. And Andy Pettit, the pitcher, is up. And that is going to be a 2-3, and that is a foul out to the catcher. So, no runs come across in the fifth for Houston. Thankfully, uh, they really needed that. Houston really, or uh, St. Louis really needed that to happen. But what they really need to happen is they got to get six runs now just to tie the game. Yadier Molina will bat against Pat. That is a 5 9, and it's a strikeout. And Pettit with the K. He's racking those up. And Hector Luna, the batter, he gets a 5 9, and that is a strikeout. Another strikeout in Pettit's cap. And David Eckstein. David Eckstein with a 5-9. That is a strikeout. He strikes out the side. And we will go to the top of the sixth inning. And we will go to the top of the sixth inning. With Tavares batting against Tavares. It's Willie Tavares batting against Julian Tavares. And that is a 5-11. That's going to be a ground ball pitcher B. So he is out. And that is a 1-3. Craig Biggio. He gets a 5-5. Five, five. That is a ground ball short. He is a 3. That is a 12. 12-3 12 at that shortstop is an out. So that's 6-3. And you know, from Houston's standpoint, you got to believe they—they—they're thinking they don't need any more runs. But you know, they'll welcome them for six, and that is going to be a single. So, it's a single by Berkman. That's the first hit given up by Tavares. And Morgan Ensberg up. And he gets a 6-5, and that is going to be a home run, Morgan Ensberg. And the hits just keep coming. The hits and the runs, they just keep coming. That's two more. So Julian Tavares is victimized with a home run. Every pitcher for St. Louis has given up a home run this game. And uh, Jason Lane. And he gets a 6-10. And that is a catcher card. He is a 1. That's a 16. 16 and 1 is wild pitch followed by foul out. So Lane is out. And with Julian Tavares leading off, obviously they are going to pinch hit for him. John Mabry will be the... Uh, uh, pinch hitter. He gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to second base. Second baseman for the uh, Astros is Biggio. He is a 4. And we will see what that is. 20 and 4 is an out 1. So Mabry bounces out to uh, the second baseman. And that brings Reggie Sanders to the plate. So St. Louis can't get anything going against him. Nothing. That is a 1-6, which is a walk. Sanders aboard. He's a speedy guy, but they can't really afford to do anything with him because they need runs. And they need more than just his run. A lot more. Down 8 nothing. And Larry Walker. Larry Walker. 
Gets a 6-5, and that is a ground ball short. He is a 1. That is a 19, and 1 at shortstop is a double play. So Larry Walker hits into a 6-4-3 double play. And, uh, and ends the inning. So, we need a new pitcher yet again for St. Louis. It's going to be Jason Isringhausen. I mean, why not? You got to stop the bleeding right now. So Jason Isringhausen will come on to pitch. I don't think he's pitched in this series yet. Um, and even if he has, I mean, this is really, you know, it's getting it's getting to be uh, this is getting to be serious. So Orlando Palmero is up in the top of the seventh, and he gets a one eight, which is a ground ball first base. So he goes. Uh, three to one, we'll say. One down. And Brad Osmus is up. He gets a 412. That's a walk. They can even get crazy rolls like that and get on base. Isringhausen walks a man, and that's the first base runner that he has allowed. Adam Everett comes up after him. That is a 3 9, which is a single. So now they have two runners on with only one out. And that's a hit allowed by Isringhausen. Um, Pettit is going to sacrifice. That is a five, and I believe it works and just moves everybody over. It does. So runners are at second and third now with two down. And Willie Tavares, the batter, the leadoff batter for Houston. And he gets a 2-8, which is a single double asterisk and knocks in both runs. Houston is relentless here. This... It was just not St. Louis's day. Two more runs makes it 10, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to nothing. And um, that is a hit by Isringhausen, another uh, earned couple of earned runs. And Craig Biggio up. And he gets a 1-3, which is the ground ball shortstop double play. Not really a double play, just one out, but uh, mercifully the inning ends at least. And Biggio was 3 for 4 coming in there, and he's 3 and five, three for 5 now um, as he bounces out. And Houston strikes yet again. We go to the bottom of the 7th, and it is still... Um, Big time for Houston with the score uh, 10 nothing, And Albert Pujols, the machine, up in the uh, bottom of the uh, seven. Bottom of the seven? Yeah, all right, yes, that should, all right, whatever. Uh, five, six, that's going to be a fly ball to center, one away. And there was a couple of from the last thing recorded in the wrong inning, but anyway. Jim Edmonds is up. 4 3, and that is a first, there, uh, that is a, a uh, no, that's a ground ball to first, so two away. 
Edmonds goes uh, one to three, we'll call it, and Scott Rowland up. Scott Rowland gets a six six, and that is a strikeout. Strikeout for Mr. Pettit, that's eight on the day for him. No runs come across in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth for the Astros. I may even be an inning behind. I don't know. This All this scoring has really kind of thrown me off my game. But uh, you've got Berkman batting against still Isringhausen because they're running out of pitchers. And uh, that is a 1-7, and that's, that's going to be a single. So Berkman with another hit, another Houston hit. We are in the eighth inning. And that is another hit allowed by Isringhausen, who is stretching himself. But, I mean, you know, they've got to do that. Morgan Ensberg is up. No outs. He gets a 1-3. That's a walk. That's crazy. They are all over the same. I mean, there has been no effective St. Louis pitcher today at all. Two on and no outs, and you have Jason Lane up. And he gets a 2-5, which is a single, and they're just going to go station to station. I mean, there's no reason to rub it in. And uh, St. Louis is going to have to play the infield in, uh, even though that's not a great defense, but that's what they are faced with. And that is a fly ball. Oh, wait a minute. That is a ground ball third base. And uh, he is a one, and that is a five. Five and one is an out, and he cuts off the run at the plate. And uh, what was that, Palmero? Yeah, Palmero. Five to two, and there is one down, and Osmus up. And that is a six eleven. Uh, 6 11 on Isringhausen is a fly ball right field X. The right fielder is a 3, and that is an 11. That's not good at all, folks. That is not good. That is a double 2. So two more runs come in. This is the craziest game I have ever seen in my life between two teams that should be very evenly matched. But does do not appear to be at all. Um, oh, let's see. Two more runs score, and that brings Adam Everett to the plate with one out, I believe, right? One out and two runners on. And at the 2-5, which is a, it's a strikeout. So Everett strikes out. Isringhausen with the K. And uh, the, the, uh, the pitcher is up, and that is, is Pettit. That'll let him bat. I mean, why not? That is a 2-9, and that is going to be a ground ball to first base, and Pettit bounces out. And no runs, or wait a minute, no, another, two more runs come in for Houston of the eighth inning. And uh, Yadier Molina is the batter. And that is a 5-6, which is a fly ball to center, one away. That brings up Hector Luna. And he gets a 3-6, which is a walk. So let's get these off of here. Let's get a St. Louis marker over there. And that brings David Eckstein, the shortstop, up to the plate. 
and that is a 412 which is a ground ball pitcher B so Eckstein is at first base on the fielder's choice two down and the pitcher is up they will of course pinch hit again but that just is making a lot of problems Abraham O. Nunez will be the batter he is pinch hitting for Isringhausen the pitcher and that is a 6-8 and that is going to be a single so Nunez comes on and gets a pinch hit single gives St. Louis two runners with two out and Reggie Sanders up and he gets a what a 6-8 Six, eight, and that is a single so st. Louis loads the bases all of a sudden they're able to break through on Pettit but it may be a little too late with the hole that they've dug for themselves but we will see Larry Walker Larry Walker Larry Walker gets a strikeout so Larry Walker does strike out and that is the ninth strikeout for Pettit and um, two runs yeah wait a minute um, no no runs no runs came in so we go to the top of the ninth there is a new pitcher for st. Louis and the new pitcher is going to be Brad Thompson the little-known Brad Thompson he's going to try to become the first pitcher in this game for St. Louis to not allow any Houston runs and he is going to try to do that by facing Willie Tavares the top of the order um, and Tavares has already batted five times and he is one for five no two no one for five with a walk and he will yeah and he steps in and that is a 411 which is a fly ball to left field Sanders is a four that is a two that may be in no it's a double you just have got to love the relentlessness of Houston if you are a Houston fan um, so Thompson allows the double and that brings Craig Biggio up that is a 510 that is a catcher card he is a he is a two that was a 16 16 and two is a wild pitch followed by foul out so the runner moves over to third and um, was that Biggio yeah that's Biggio is out uh, one to three and now of course they're going to bring the infield in uh, with a runner just 90 feet away and only one out and that's Lance Berkman trying to get him in 410 that is going to be a ground ball third base he is a one and that is a 20 20 and one is uh, roll again that is an eight eight and one is an out cuts off the run to plate two away uh, five to two and that brings um, Ensberg no wait how am I always behind on batters well anyway it, it oh, wait, oh, wait a minute maybe it is Ensberg it might be Ensberg yeah yeah all right Ensberg is up And he gets a 5-9, and that is going to be a home run! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! They get two more runs, and uh, that scores also, including himself, that, in, that scores Tavares. And Thompson gives up a hit and two earned runs and this is this is the craziest craziest stuff I have ever seen 
Jason Lane. Jason Lane gets a 411 um, off of Thompson. That is a fly to left. Um, his left fielder is a four, and that is a nine. That's going to be like a triple. Um, yeah, it is going to be a triple. So, or no, Jason, that was Jason Lane. So, Jason Lane, Houston, he hits a triple. And, you know, I mean, what can, uh, what can the Houston manager do except laugh at this? Orlando Palmero gets a 6-10. That is a fly ball left field. Fly ball left, and two more runs come in for Houston, and it is two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? 10, 13, 14 to nothing as we go to the bottom of the ninth with the machine up. Now, you know, obviously, you got the right guy up to start off the inning, but he can't get your 14 runs on one hit on one plate appearance. Pettit, why take Pettit out? It's 5 5 strikeout, and um, the machine strikes out here in the ninth. And that is yet another strikeout. Tenth strikeout for Pettit, or maybe it's more, and I just lost count. I don't know. Jim Edmonds is up, and Jimmy Edmonds gets a 2 2, and that's a strikeout. So it, Pettit is still going strong here. And, I mean, why not? He pitched 222 innings in 2005. Scott Rowland. Scott Rowland, 412. Ground ball to the pitcher. Mercifully ends this game with the final score of the game being 14 to nothing. With Houston winning it. So, did they win the series? Again, I don't know. You'll have to go back and check. But man, was this a wild game. Houston wins it 14-0.